friends in second part now we will discuss about remaining points of bifurcation of hydroelectric power plant from the nature of load characteristics so let's start on the base of transmission system we have two different type of hydroelectric power plants or we categorize the power plants in two different types one is isolated which also means off grid power plant and another one is interconnected on grid power plant so what is difference between both i will explain that off grid means this iso power plant is isolated in some remote region where our grid is not reached or the power generation happen whatever in that region will be used locally for their regions or for that area rather than transmitting it to somewhere else so this is called as off grid and second power plant where we have a huge generation and we must have to connect it to the grid then it is called as interconnected power plant so these two type are according to the base of transmission or interconnection next is plant capacity so if we have a huge reservoir or huge water available we can produce lot of electricity according to generation of electricity we have bifurcated our power plants in three types one is large hydro power plant the power plant which is producing more than 100 megawatt power then we call it as a large hydro power plant medium hydro power plant where we produce the electricity from 15 megawatt to 100 megawatt next is small hydro power plant in which we produce the electricity from 1 megawatt to 15 megawatt all these connected with the grid next type is mini hydro power plant where the capacity is few kilowatts to 1 megawatt maximum this type of power plants are usually we use as a stand alone power plant for fulfilling the need of some remote region next is micro hydro power plant where the generation is around 5 to 100 kilowatt this type of small power plant very helpful in the rural area where the population density is very less and they have the water available we can install this type of power plant it is not required or mandatory to connect it to grid because it is very small capacity power plant next is pico hydro power plant the plant which having the capacity less than 5 kilowatt that power plant also fulfilling the demand we install this to fulfill the demand of uh, some remote region population where we cannot place the transmission line or it is very much high cost layer then we can install this type of power plant so these are the six different types of power plant according to their capacity next is classification according to the purpose basically we know that we install the power plant for electricity generation so if our purpose is that then we can call it as a single purpose in some cases there is not just one thing electricity but many other things are also connected with this type of power plant or reason behind installation of power plants let's see what are they like for generation of electricity is the basic need but for irrigation of agricultural land as we know uh, in rainy seasons as in my last video also i have explained that india having three different seasons bulk water availability is only in rainy season but if we want to keep our agricultural growth increasing then we must have to provide the water for agriculture in summer also this is also a reason we install a dam we store the water and we can use it for agricultural purpose in summer basically for navigation fisheries and tourism is very uh, important reason flood control we know some rivers are carrying very huge amount of water in rainy 
and they are literally dried in summer we can see this type of examples regular basis so for avoiding flood we have to install this and last one is domestic water supply for fulfilling the water demand of local population also these dams are important these are the purposes because of which also we think to install a hydroelectric power plant in some region next type classification according to hydrological relation if we have water and good slope we can produce the electricity this is the basic funda of production of electricity but in some cases the slope is very high and water is also available in good quantity i have presented here two diagrams in first diagram a single step water plant has been installed after using or production of electricity we flow this water to the river as there is not good slope available after this this type of power plant normal type of power plant is called a single stage power plant in some cases we have a huge slope available that time rather than installing one large hydro power plant we can install multiple power plants in stages reason behind that one important reason is storage capacity may be less that time we can do this second reason is if the slope is very good available and we can produce the electricity in multiple stages that time also we can use this so these are few reasons because of that we produce the electricity in multiple stages and this is called as cascade system where we place multiple power plants in single flow means the water river is similar but we have installed stages to produce the electricity i hope uh, all of you understood different type of power plant according to the different categories so if you have any doubt you can comment in comment box and i will definitely try to answer it thank you very much please like share and subscribe my channel don't forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification of my next video